Oh man, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Open up, open up, open up. Let's get out of here. I'm the only one who, wait, I don't even know why we need this thing. We don't have a wildfire, but we gotta go anyway. There is a uh, grain bin collapse and we need to get there really quickly. Let's get out of here. This is off-road, thankfully. Cyrus loud. Um, it's about two miles away. Yep. I'm getting stuff over the walkie right now. It doesn't seem to be too good. At this time, there are uh, people in there, and we cannot afford to slow down. I'll, I'll try to put in a news clip or something, because I ain't going to be able to cover it. we got to get stuff done. Yep, I'm on 400, and we see ambulances over on 225. We'll be that way in just a second. It isn't going to take long. We have the next county's FD on, our, on their way. We'll be over there in just a few minutes, and police blockade is in effect. That was Emergency Responder Farming 101 today as local departments rush to respond to a grain bin collapse that happened near Medicine Creek today. The collapse happened around lunchtime this morning. Sources say roughly 1130. The collapse of the bin occurred after a semi pulled in to load grain out of an overhead bin. The bin that collapsed was a mere 30 feet away from the area where the semi with two people sat. As we can see and have been told from this disturbing drone clip of the area, we have been told that two people who had just exited the semi were engulfed by the grain. However, at this time, we have been told that they are both okay. The cause of the collapse is still unknown at this time. The main fire truck on the scene today was the Wildland Fire Truck, a 2016 Mercedes that the department reportedly bought within the last six months. This fire truck has been used as a mobile command station as well as having all of the grain entrapment equipment on board. This is your news on this topic. Today we also have another major topic. All right, well, medical checks are done. Uh, the sirens are still on just to keep the crowd we've got building at bay. It looks like one of that uh, sidewall that Ben blew out over there. Uh, While well, the semi was pulling out of the overhead, there were two people in it. Uh, one of them was already taken to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries. The other one walked away. Uh, DNR took them because uh, we were running out of transport. DNR is also up there blockading the road as well as uh, highway patrol. Looks like this bin blew out. We're going to have to get... Uh, we're getting people over here from the co-op with their loaders over here. Maybe a big excavator and try to get some of this cleaned up. It's a mess. At this point, it's no longer an emergency, but a major, major inconvenience. And uh, we got the wildland truck over there. We used, I forgot, I was in a super big rush. It has the grain rescue stuff in it. I forgot that's why I was called upon. I'm the only guy who knows how to drive the wildland truck. Uh, so if, I don't know what that news clip was. Uh, I ain't seen it yet. I, I asked my brother over at my house to record it for me, so... Whatever it covered, it covered. But I'll give you the story. Basically, uh, say this happened kind of like 11.30ish. Uh, we didn't get notified till something like 11.45. So we made our way over here as fast as possible. Uh, the police went and blocked off the roads. Ambulance got here. Everybody got here to check it out. And then it's now about 2.30. We spent a while getting both people out of the green. Uh, neither of them were buried above the head. But it did take a little while to get people out. Now the ambulance is still here flashing lights just for the purpose of keeping the crowd away. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open this one up just so we can put all of our tools back in it and everything. Uh, we got the green rescue kits all in here and everything too. So it's definitely of major importance that this truck's here. Alrighty guys, that was the role play. There is a second part to it, but before that comes out, I do want to highlight that we may have portrayed this a bit lightly, but this is a very serious... Th the semi is not right. It'd be buried. I can't do that in FS to do the game engine. But, um, in real life, this is this is an actual serious thing, and so I hope you guys take something away from this. Um, it's not fun knowing that this stuff happens in your life and people die that way. But what was fun was running over here and hitting all kinds of things with flashing lights and sirens. Not going to lie, that was awesome. So hopefully you guys took something away from this, and we'll get to the second part of this uh, 
role play here. Normally I wouldn't interrupt a role play like this, but I, I felt it was important enough to warrant my doing so. I'll probably put it in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe. We'll get to the second part of this at some soon point.